Hey guys, today we are going to show you how to fix Cabbage Patch yarn hair. And you're gonna need tape and some scissors. And the tape I used just to keep all the little yarn pieces that we're cutting off just so they don't go flying everywhere. And of course, you're gonna need um, some different um, sizes of rubber bands, but I got these little bitty ones to hold her hair at the end because this particular Cabbage Patch does have ponytails. So if you'll take a look at this Cabbage Patch, look at her hair. I don't know what they were doing with this thing. If they were trying to give it, you know, dreadlocks, I'm not real sure. But it's all matted and has like just fuzzies all over it. The yarn was all stuck together. Anyway, guys, so start with the clean doll. This one has been sanitized. And so we are just going to jump right on into it. So you're going to start with um, a little section. You're going to pull the yarn apart. And then you're going to start cutting the ends. Okay, see the ends and see how they are uneven. So you need to go at them one at a time. I know that it sounds tedious, like you're gonna be here all day. Do not fret, my friends, do not fret. Put you on a TV show, or better yet, watch me on YouTube. It takes about 30 minutes, so it's not a big deal. Just sit there and cut them. And again, you don't wanna just clump them all together and chop them off because each individual strand is cut at a separate and different length. This particular doll, every strand, as you can see, I'm pulling them apart. They were stuck together. It was such a mess. So I just go through and cut and cut and cut. And like I said, I've condensed it all just so you can kind of see how it's done. Do keep the hair in sections. Um, and that's what the bigger rubber bands, of course, are going to be for. And as you can see right here, this is the different lengths that they all are. So do not just chop them off. It will won't um, hang the right way. So you do need to just do it all, you know, one at a time. Just take your time. It's not a big deal. So again, this took about 30 minutes. Now I'm pulling them all apart, making sure that I'm getting her, you know, hair kind of ready for what the ponies are going to look like. I'm separating it out. Um, that's why I've got the, the bigger rubber bands that I'm using here. And as you can see, it's not that, I mean, it's not hard. It's tedious, but it's not hard. To me, the hard part is what's going on next. Next is whenever you have to go at an angle with the scissors and cut the fuzzies off of the yarn because you have to be real careful not to cut the yarn. So you're going at an angle, and that to me was a little bit stressful just because, you know, I wanted to make sure that I was doing it correctly. And, you know, when you grab the scissors, <laughs> I had two different sets of scissors, but the bigger set for me just were sharper. And um, as you can see here, it's got just that little fuzzies. So you just get to, you know, going at an angle, making sure that you're not, um, you know, cutting the yarn. You can see, you know, I've done one side compared to the other, and it's looking good. You just have to go slow. Don't get in a hurry. And notice how I'm kind of taking the scissors and kind of riding them along the line of the yarn instead of just chop, chop, chop. And I'm doing that so that I'm only getting those little fuzzies and I'm not chopping any of the yarn. Just take your time. Do not get in a hurry doing this. Um, if you've got, you know, young littles, you might wait till they're asleep <laughs> because one wrong move and you're gonna cut that yarn. And here I just kind of sped it up so that you could see. Now I'm gonna get her hair put into pigtails. And here you just wanna make sure that the doll that you're working with, that you are working within the hairstyle that she was intended to have. Like this one was intended to have uh, little pigtails. Then we have this little guy. He has the curly red hair and look at that. This one too, oh, it's just a mess y'all, just a mess. Look at all that fraying. So again, you just go at an angle, take your time slide the scissors let the scissors kind of do the walking for you do not try this guys with dull scissors if you have to go buy you a brand new pair of scissors then do it it will just save you your sanity so get you a good pair of scissors and that way you can just kind of real lightly you just you know you're not like edward scissor hands you're not going and just chopping it all you're just very you know taking your time and rubbing 
those scissors across that yarn and letting it pick up any of those little flyaways. Now here, I'm done with one side, and so I'm, you know, kind of rubbing it because I want to see, you know, how much, what the difference is. And if you can look at this, you can actually see they're even, it, like, I don't know if it just changes color or what, but the fuzzies, I guess because of the fuzzies, it makes it look lighter than the other side that's already been cut. And to me, you can see it. So I just kind of sped this up so you could see how it's all done. Again, do not get in a hurry. Just take your time, put you in a show. Each doll took about, oh, I would say, I took 45 minutes for the long hair doll and he wasn't very long. I think he was a total of 30 minutes just by himself and I just took my time. Folks, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe, leave a comment and hope to see you on the next one. Bye.